another baby lips gloss review this time with number 25 tote with me there you go you can see that name yes maybe i don't even know too bad okay so what kind of struck me as funny with this one is that it looks suspiciously like my tube of concealer I keep in my purse, so I'm like, I really hope if I ever put this in my purse, I do not mix it up with this and make a horrible mistake someday, because that would be really bad and embarrassing. So, anywho. Um, first off, before I get into the actual review, I would like to do a shout out to Bella the Bulldogs on Instagram, who requested one, as she's trying to hit a goal of 100 followers, so you, should, you guys should follow her. She's pretty nice, so there you go. Anyway. Back to the review. Uh, this one, I was kind of iffy about if it would show up or not. I've been wearing it lately, so I actually know how it shows up and that it does a little bit. Not a lot, but shows up a little. So I'm going to show you guys how this goes on. On the applicator, the little wand here, just looks like that. Fairly flesh-toned. Yeah, I was... Pretty skeptical of this, not gonna lie, but and it smells like all the other ones we've been through this. It smells like fruity pebbles, so on the lips. It's not much of a color, but there is a little tint. Especially when you begin to layer it. Which I like to do. And then the top. Right now comparison. Doesn't look like that much of a difference because it's not, honestly, but there there is a little tiny hint of a difference there. And there we go. Looks pretty nice. I like it actually. Um, I mean, for one of the sheerer colors that doesn't show up a whole lot, but you still want to show up some, it actually does show up a bit and goes with pretty much everything because it's so neutral. I kind of like that. Um, <clears throat> So this is obviously from the Opaques collection that they have in this line. I think there's one or two more that are opaque in this collection, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, this is how it looks. has the same consistency as the other opaque ones. It's, it's pretty thick, but it's not sticky. So that's always a plus. None of them in this collection are sticky, and I'm forever grateful for that. But they are very thick. It's that whole thing again where it feels like it's so thick you could ice skate on it. Yeah, it's pretty slick. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a matter of taste. I don't mind it that much since, gosh, in my tweens and early teens, I used to have a thing for really thick, gloopy lip glosses. So this actually doesn't bother me. I mean, I kind of got over that phase, but I don't dislike it. It just... It's a matter of taste. I know some people can't stand it and think it's like the worst thing ever. See Graveyard Girls channel. <laughs> I love Bunny. Uh, there is no hate here whatsoever. But yeah. But it is nice. And I think this is a color that's pretty flattering on most skin tones. Now I'm going to do a swatch on the back of my hand so you can see that there is a little bit of pigment here. Not much, but there is some. Although on the back of my hand it doesn't show up a lot because it kind of just blends in with my natural skin color. Can you guys kind of see that? It's a little bit darker than my skin, but not by a lot. Because you can see, I'm trying to go with the lighting here to show, there is some contrast. But quite honestly, yeah, it's very close to my natural skin tone. So, for other people, it might show up more, or it might show up less, given skin tones and natural lip colors. But, in terms of how long this lasts, it's, it's 
about on par for what I get out of baby lips in general anyway, which isn't much. Uh, I tend to get, if I'm lucky, an hour, maybe two hours or so out of them. I've heard some people say they get up to four. I think the only one I got four out of was Pink Shock from the Electro Collection. This does not last any four hours, let me tell you. And being tinted, it does make me a little hesitant to wear it when I know it's going to wear off so quickly and I worry about it wearing off unevenly. But that's the beauty of this color, is that it's so... it's there and it is tinted but not a lot, so even if it does start to wear off, you don't really notice where it wore off as long as it's still all shiny. So that's a good thing, in my opinion. Just my opinion, but it's my opinion nonetheless. So if I were going to rate this particular one on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I would rate this one a 7. Personally, I like more pigmentation than this gives, but at the same time, I have to admit, I've been wearing it a lot with just sort of downtime summery clothes where I don't want to be all made up when it's just casual summer weather. I'm probably going to sweat my makeup off anyway because it's California. But yeah, so it kind of goes along with that. So I've been getting use out of it, more so than some of the ones in this collection. But again, my loyalties do lie more with the more heavily tinted ones. That's just me. I don't dislike it. Like I said, I actually like this one quite a bit compared to a lot of the lighter colors in this collection because you can at least tell there is a little bit of a difference there, which the other ones, not so much. It just looks clear, so they kind of felt like a ripoff, and if I had just wanted clear, I would have bought a cheaper clear lip gloss, but this one has a little bit of color, just enough, in my opinion, to sort of give a healthy glow, which I like, so it's all good. So anyway, that's about all I've got to say on that one. Uh, ignore all the noise going on in the background once again. My nieces and nephews, they're just very loud. So anyway, uh, as usual, since that's about all I have to say on this, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below, and until next time, bye!